Okay, so two resistors are connected in series in a circuit as shown. So we can see we've got two 10 ohm resistors and a variable resistor. Okay, the current at point X is 3 amps. The current at Y and Z would also be 3 amps. There have been no splits, we've got no parallel resistors, so current must stay the same. Calculate the combined resistance of the two 10 ohm resistors while they're in series, so we're just going to add them together. The 10 ohm resistors are now arranged in parallel. So we can see the current is still 3 amps going in, but it splits 1.5 and 1.5. The current X is adjusted to 3 amps. The current through one resistor is 1.5. What's the current of Y? Well, it's going to be 1.5 amps, because if 1.5 amps goes one way, the other way must be 1.5, so they add together to give you 3. The current at Z is going to be 3, because those two 1.5s are going to have joined up again. What is the combined resistance? Um, well, I know the answer is 5, because you end up, if you have two identical resistors in parallel, you end up with half of one of the resistors. But let's actually show that using the equation, and you can see it is indeed 5. The diagram shows an electric circuit containing a battery, a 4.7 ohm resistor, an ammeter, and a variable resistor with a sliding contact. The variable resistor is set to zero. The ammeter and the battery have a small resistance that we can ignore it. What unit do we measure the EMF in volts? Okay, so write down the equation that links resistance, potential difference, and current. Well, resistance is potential difference divided by current, but you often see it in the form V equals IR, and that's the form we're going to use it in next. So we've got a current for and we have 0 0.5, we've got resistance of 4.7, so potential difference is just going to be those two multiplied together, 2.4 volts. The sliding contact is moved from X to Y. What happens to the resistance of the variable resistor? Well, it increases. What happens to the reading on the ammeter? Well, it's going to decrease. If you have a larger resistance in your circuit, that's going to give you a lower current. The variable resistor is now adjusted to make the total resistance of the circuit 10 ohms. What is the resistance of the variable resistor now? Well, if the, the fixed resistor is 4.7, it must be 5.3 because it's connected in series. The diagram shows a circuit that includes three ammeters. The resistance of the ammeters and the battery can be ignored. What is the total resistance of the circuit? Okay, so we can add together our two resistors because they're in series, 40 ohms. The ammeter reads 0.2 amps. What do the other two reads need? Well, it's going to be 0.2 because they're, they're all in series, so they're going to read the same. The di diagram now shows the same components, but connected, so they're now connected in parallel. What is the total resistance? Well, we had two 20 ohm resistors in parallel, so we're going to end up with half of that, so it's going to be 10. Let's actually show that using an equation. Yep, it does indeed come out as 10. The ammeter reads 0.8 amps. What do the other two ammeters read? Tick the appropriate boxes. So they're both going to, well, A2 is going to lead less than that. The current is going to have split up by the time it goes through A2. A3 is going to read 0.8 because the currents have joined back up together circuit is connected up. How does the current in the resistance wire compare with the current in the 2 ohm resistor? Tick one box. It's going to be exactly the same. If everything is in series, current is the same everywhere. A voltmeter connected across the resistance wire shows the same reading as a voltmeter connected across the 2 ohm resistor. State the value of the resistance of the resistance wire. Calculate the combined resistance where well, you add them together to 4 ohms. The wire and the resistor are now disconnected and reconnected in parallel. In fact, we've got two 2 ohm resistors in parallel. What is the combined resistance? It's going to be half of 2, so it's going to be 1. We can show that using the equation, but it still comes out as 1. The ammeter in the diagram reads 0.3 amps. What is the reading on the ammeter in 11.2? Well, it's going to be more than 0.3 amps. Our resistance has actually changed by a factor of four. So if we 
if we have two two ohm resistors in series if we remove one of those two ohms that halves the resistance or doubles the current if we add a two ohm now in parallel that halves the resistance again so you end up with four times bigger current Balls and And if the length The diagram shows two resistors and an ammeter connected in series to a 6 volt DC supply. The resistance of the ammeter is so small it can be ignored. Calculate the combined resistance of 8 ohms and 4 ohms in series. Well, it just can be 12 ohms, we add them together. Calculate the current. Well, we know the total potential difference, we now know the total resistance, so you can see it comes out as 0.5 amps. State the value of the current in PQ, well it's going to be 0.5, the ammeter is going to read 0.5, SR is going to have 0.5, they're all in series so the current is going to be exactly the same. On the diagram show a voltmeter connected to measure potential difference. Um, so that's going to go in here because we want to know the potential difference across the 4 ohm resistor. So this blue can it contains the names of 5 components that might be found in the circuit. Which of these has a resistance that falls rapidly when the temperature rises? Uh, that's a thermistor. Resistance that changes when a sliding contact is moved, a variable resistor. A high resistance in the dark, but a low resistance in daylight, a light dependent resistor. A lamp shines with full brightness when connected to 12 volt battery. Write down the equation that links resistance with potential difference and current. So, Here's our equation, usually seen in the form V equals IR. The current is 0.5, calculate the resistance. So to get resistance, potential difference divided by current, 12 divided by 0.5 gives us 24 ohms. The final part, the resistor is now connected in series with the lamp. State what happens to the current when the resistor is added. Well, it's going to decrease. Adding resistance in series always increases the resistance, always drops the current. Make your answer, uh, well, that's basically what I've just been saying. So if you have a larger total resistance, the EMF supplied is the same, so if the bigger resistance, the current must be lower. I think what change must be seen in that, well, it's going to get dimmer, a lower current going to it, and a lower potential difference across it, both going to act to make it dimmer, and that completes these questions.